Welcome back in everybody. Once again, No Man's Land, or I should say, I guess CCA Open, going to be taking over this part of the broadcast once more. St. Clair took down Oakland 3-0 earlier. These two Titans have reemerged as our two grand finalists for the CCA Open. So No Man's Land, we're going to catch you back in just a little bit. We have a grand final of CCA to decide. Absolutely. And with it, obviously, the rematch, which we did have earlier in the day. Once again, it's going to be a best of five. But St. Clair are here again. They are in the finals of the Open. I don't think it is a surprise. They've done it so many times now throughout the course of the season. Now I think it's time that they actually finish it off, take a win, and send it home so that they can go into LCQ with full confidence. But they have Oakland University, of course, in their way, looking very mighty. And despite the 3-0, I know that Oakland just beat TMU in pretty handed fashion. Uh, and St. Clair also just lost to Davenport. So this has been a crazy tournament, I think, and it has led to a lot of variances in results. So I'm convinced anything can happen at this point. I mean, we've seen enough seats. Listen, I've casted enough uh, respectfully to our team. Now you're at home. You're going to try to close the deal. I have seen far too many Seton Hall bracket resets for me to count amongst other teams. But we're on to the pitch. Oakland needing to win this best of five to get that bracket reset and take the Saints to potentially five more games. We have seen no shortage of resets over here on the Saints channel. But we're underway. Ten seconds in, seeing what is going to happen. Yeah, for the record, I, I don't talk about Seton Hall because I think they're the biggest anomaly of a team that could possibly exist. It's crazy, huh? They just they shouldn't exist, is, is my belief, because they'll go from looking like the best team in CRL to like the worst in like between two games. So it's just kind of how it is. But, you know, I like the players on it. It's just like, come on, boys. Anyway, we are underway once again with game one between St. Clair College and Oakland University. Of course, this is for the CCA Open Final. I think if uh, St. Clair, I think they're already first in Canada, but I think this will, uh, actually, no, they're not, uh, because we still have Valleyfield and Laval. So yes. this will definitely be a huge bump for them. And of course, even though Valleyfield and Laval, they are in CRL, you know, they are in. Whoa, okay, wow. Quinn's just going to slot this one through from midfield. Yeah, Quinn was watching some uh, some blue lock off the stage before he went live all out of there, but he was getting some inspiration there, trying to see which way he could put this ball into the net. He's going to find a way to do so just under a minute in, exactly the start you're looking for. Yeah, and I think, uh, one, Quinn, you should probably change your profile pictures to something from Blue Lock. You love it so much. Two, Blue Lock is mid. Three, Whoa. I think that if you, okay, production was just in my ear saying, oh. yeah, I guess what, well, how about you go watch a good sports anime or something? I don't know, like uh, Hajime no Ippo. That's a pretty good one. Anyway, moving on, St. Clair 1-0 and oh at the moment. Oakland having a hard time finding their feet, but we still have over half a game left to play. Lots of potential. Yeah, and the one thing you mentioned too is the Saints already do have that LCQ spot from the CRL Worlds coming up. But like you said, you want to go in with confidence. You want to come out flat footed in CCA Open, getting bracket reset for enough times where I'm not going to bring it up on broadcast. But the Saints did get this early nice uh, one nothing lead, rather. Still trying to get something sorted in the offensive zone. Oakland, they're going to take some of that pressure off, send that one back down. A little bit of back and forth between these two teams. Yeah, at the moment, you can see Oakland, they're trying to fight back in that midfield, trying to get that pressure going themselves. Good job taking that mid boost, but Spoods, oh, it will be spawned. Ramen will be able to get there in time. Ramen puts oh. it through, but great save by Whale. Yeah, that looked like it was going to be a for sure goal, but Whale going to knock that one away and getting those saves early on in this game going to be so, so critical. Yes, we're in best of five territory, but you don't want to let any goals go in that you maybe had a chance to stop there. Now Oakland trying to get going on this offensive front of things. They're going to send that pass down. Whale is going to knock that one off that backboard. Robin going to be the first one there to recover those Saints. Right now, the Saints do have that first goal, oh, but this has demo. been back and forth. The demo is perfect. The shot is good. It's just off the post, though. Still oh. kicking around, and Whale will finally knock that one in. 1-1 one, one score. Yeah, that demo really threw the whole rotation out of whack. You can see, you know, Robin had the right idea. Spoods Ooh. couldn't get there in time it went at an angle that he wasn't expecting so oakland will be able to tie this up with just under a half a game remaining st Clair, definitely not out of it it's the first time i think they really got pressured and so hopefully we'll see quince trying to get a pass off to his teammates ramen playing it slow i don't know how i feel at the moment with the slow approach but it might work spoots it's a raz Roz, who will be in the position. Quint putting it to the side. Look for a teammate, but no one will be there. 
Yes, Boots, first man over there, gonna get taken out of the corner though. Now the Saints gonna kick this one right back in toward the crease, the pass, the double touch, the goal to follow. Roman and Spoods both getting a piece of it, but smiling Roman is gonna find that goal. Gonna be so, so happy to watch himself get yet another goal. Spoods gonna go try to clear out both of those goalies, won't even be needed. Saints take the lead back. You know, I, I think they're smiling because they almost basically saved it for themselves. Uh, yeah. If that went at another yeah. angle, it goes off the crossbar or corner. It just doesn't go in. So definitely, you know, calm issue, but still they do have the lead and it is very, very in their favor at the moment with a minute 45 left. Oakland not finding too many chances from themselves. I'm not sure how many stat, or excuse me, how many shots were on the stat board for Oakland. But even with ball possession, it there might not matter. Roz coming in hot from high. We will be able to tie up this game. Yeah, Oakland getting back in this game one. You don't want to start off on the wrong foot. If you're Oakland and you want to win this grand final, you're going to have to play at least six games, at least eight games of Rocket League if you want to win out this five and you want to win out that best of five the second time around. So each one of these goals is going to try to inch you closer and closer toward that goal. If you're the Saints, just trying to get take care of business in this first best of five, you don't want to risk any of those bracket reset demons coming back to haunt you. No, definitely not, especially with bracket reset. It totally changes the mental of a bracket and overall Quince looking to muscle his way through he does decent 50 spoots gonna have to do his way across not too much boost though so he's gonna get the flip reset hopefully a clear get the pinch over Roz Quint going to carry it himself Ramen will be up taking advantage of the double commit. Spoods can be there, but Quint not able to get the midfield boost. Is anyone going to be there? Spoods oh. definitely on the wide angle. It's going to hurt, but they're going to have to reset. Yeah, now the Saints looking to gather possession. Quint going to knock that one toward the sky. Well, first one to the ball, trying to set something back up toward the middle, but Raman going to take down Jay Wish, try to shut down that offensive opportunity. And 35 seconds left in game one. We saw these teams go to overtime twice in the last oh, series. Man. That is a nice long range shot. Not going to find the mark, but anytime at this point, it feels like next goal probably wins. Yeah, and you can see like Oakland, they're trying to test just how much St. Clair is going to rotate back. They're trying to keep him honest and prevent any over extensions from St. Clair. And in doing so, trying to keep this game closer and closer, but still Spoods. He's gonna go over to Quint. Double come in on the defensive side once again. Roz looking to collect the boost. Maybe not, just gonna go for the 50. It's gonna go high. Raman, it'll go off the backboard. Reflection from Jay Wiz. Roz, that's oh a great pass. Is anyone there? But no, it'll go to overtime. Yeah, Oakland just trying to get the ball out of their end at that point. They, they would love the goal, but more importantly, you got to keep this game tied. Now we're back in overtime. Not a, not a strange sight for either one of these teams so far today. Quint trying to play this one out of the corner. A couple little touches there. Not going to find anything quite material. Raman going to send it toward the net as well. Jay Wiz kicks that one away with these. The Saints still threatening, though. That is going to be a far side shot. Not going to find the mark there. Quint still trying to keep things going in the offense. Trying to cycle this ball around Oakland. Doing their best to get off this back foot, create some kind of counterattack. Yeah, Raman a little awkward off the ball as well. Spoods looking for the rebound just off of Wales touch, but doesn't get anything. Quince getting the rotate back. Roz, good touch, good defensive read from it. Oakland prowling, praying, waiting for their chance to find their moments, but it might not matter. Spoods will put it just too short. And another opportunity gone by. Quint will take possession, Whoa. however, pinches it through, muscling his way through. All right, I get it, blue lock. Might have helped. That's why he's got the blue hair <laughs> taking game one. Yeah, Quentin putting him in the body bag on that last one. Tell him hit the weight room. Ends up getting that bump. Finds the goal as well. The Saints picking up where they left off that last series. They take this first game of the grand final. They don't want anything to do with that bracket reset. And Blue Lock is still mid. Yes, it is mid. If you can hear me, Quint, mid anime. Any, anyway, point being. I think, uh, you know, we also want to avoid the bracket reset. You know, it's yeah. it's we want to get back to the real, real thing here with No Man's Land. And I think that, honestly, with the matchup that we have here, you know, Sinclair, they're looking strong, but it's not, I think, as decisive as we saw no. in the previous series. We're not seeing Spoods get involved as yeah. often. You know, Quint kind of putting the team on his back a little bit more. And it's just a, a 
less finesse, I should say. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, the series was 3-0, but there was at least one overtime, I believe possibly two, so realistically, that could have been a 2-1 the back the other way. Oh, could have been the 2-0 oh, Spoods. Spoods. Yeah, oh, 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 and oh. give that credit to Spoods. He helped set everything up there. Roman, the beneficiary, going to find that goal. The Saints going to continue to try to snowball this series. Just a beautiful play from Spoods. Yep. And Roman, it don't get much easier than that. Yep, and I definitely take it back. Spoods able to facilitate his teammate there so that the Saints can continue with their reign so far in game two and looking to continue. But Oakland, not out of it just yet. This is an elite team as well. They're both in the grand finals for a reason. Quint maybe trying to get that ceiling shot, but nothing will come of it. So Spoods will take possession. Roz looking for a teammate. Whale taking off the corner. Anyone will be there. Roz with a Deep, deep rotation, but it's good, but still misses. Jaywiz having to knock it to the side, barely getting there in time, still struggling with these touches. Oakland trying to scramble back into their offensive positioning so they can continue their pressure. Shot on, Jaywiz bump attempt as well, but nothing comes of it. Yeah, and that's the big thing too. While 2-0 is not an insurmountable lead for Oakland, it's the way some of these goals might go in, especially considering you need the bracket reset. You're already down 1-0 in the game, 1-0 in the series. Saints playing with fire at Oakland, trying their best to punish right now, but Quint gonna be able to get just enough of that one. Spoods trying to kick that one back into the neutral zone. Jay was gonna follow, but now it's gonna be Raman from the skies. What can he cook up there? It's gonna be a goal. Make it two on the day for Raman. Casual as all hell. He's gonna find that goal. Two nothing lead for the Saints. Man, I, I'd love some ramen right now. I told, I'm, I'm I got, having it right now. Man. Off the sky, reach for the sky for St. Clair College at the moment. 335 left on the board. So far, Oakland haven't been able to find their chance. Not much of an answer, but Roz, Roz is cooking himself, actually. Ramen just taking the casual approach, catching it. Whale, formerly of Mizzou. Oh, looking to get there. But Spoods with the Mex. Can he get a pass off? No boost. So Roz will be able to get to it. Whale looking for a shot. Going for the second. And he does, but there's too much sauce. Yeah, and there's two Saints to go get that double commit. Either way, they stop that goal. Now you got to find some way to get Oakland off your <laughs> out of your face here. Oakland, we saw that first series as well. Even though they ended up losing in 3-0 fashion, they do such a good job just putting that pressure on, trying to melt away teams as they just fire shot after shot. Right now, St. Clair, though, that counterattack and the setup has been so, so good. Spooch yeah. doing a very, very good job to control the ball, set the pacing, try to get these teammates open and involved. And I mean, two goals for the Saints are about as easy as you could play off of. Yeah, at the moment also wanting to add in that their 50s are just so effective at the moment. You know, they're not being too overly aggressive with their 50s and they're playing them, playing off them very well. It's the off ball movement right now from Sinclair that's been so effective despite some double commits here and there. However, still Oakland aren't out of it yet. They can be oh. offensively aggressive and they can take advantage of defensive rotation mistakes like that when they want to. Ramen. Barely getting there for the save. Oakland looking to continue their pressure. Yeah, Oakland lighting up this blue net right now. You feel like it's only a matter of time if these quality shots keep going through. That one is going to find its way into the back of the net. There's the pass, the give and go, the handoff. The oh. double touch off the backboard, not going to be found. Saints looking to find some form of clearance there. That shot, though, rings off to that left side post. Roz is going to hold that line. Trying to play out of the neutral zone here. Get something going in the offense. There's the pass. There's the shot. The delivery. Oh, good the position. touch. Just not enough. Saints still locking down the Woo! net. Oh, a second Woo! and third chance. And Jay Wiz. There you go, buddy. You got yourself on the board. It took a while, but they finally made it through. Got that shot that they wanted. The post demon getting out of their heads. Oakland not done in this game just yet. They are finally in it with the goal for themselves. The buck 37 left. St. Clair, however, absolutely want to end it early, but being caught in that defensive positioning for so long, hopefully won't have taken too much of their momentum Ooh. away. Still, Oakland continue to get closer and closer with the more attempts that they're putting on. Yeah, they're starting to find these bumps, and once you get the kind of that, like that boost star of chain going in the net there, it can be so difficult for the defending team. You can't really operate anywhere, even if you do end up getting possession. You're not going to have any boost to go air carry that one, try to get these set plays downfield. It basically stops that counterattack before it can begin. Oh, I'm pretty sure Quint just jumped out of a rule one, by the way. Alice, you gotta do what you gotta do! Oh man! That's why we on land! No one cares about rule ones on land! 
especially if you're in a grand finals. Jeez. All right, but in all reality, he should be banned and probably perm banned from CCA. There we go. That's that's, that's a long time. Someone yeah. get the rule book at the director's out maybe of the admins. It, maybe it's honestly just the North American difference. Europeans don't respect rule ones. Honestly, fair point. I, I never thought of it, but the way you, when you when you when you say it like that so eloquently, I have to you know have to take it at face value. Yeah. It's uh, it's it's not it's a it's a rule one. It's not a convention. It's a suggestion. <laughs> but Quint nearly making up for it there, driving it down the last 20 seconds. St. Clair looking to take the 2-0 lead in the series, preventing any chance of a bracket reset. Wanting to be done with it so they can continue with no man's land. But Oakland, they're not out of it yet. If they can get a good 50 here, Quint just going to put it on, seal things up, pack it up to go. We're going to game three with St. Clair with the lead. Yeah, they're going to be feeling nice and good about this one. And now if you're Oakland, big picture. You're going to have to win a whole lot of Rocket League if you want to sniff that bracket reset. You're going to have to pull off the reverse sweep, and then you're going to have to go and win another three out of five. Their Quint is all smiles. He has not heard the blue lock slander quite yet from the stream, so we'll see you in a couple minutes oh, I'm, if I'll that smile I'll changes. Yeah, exactly. I'll, I'll tell him to his face. Be, I, I was like, are you watching blue lock? And I was like, or he was like, yeah. I'm like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of those, huh? Either way, though, the Saints taking care of business in that game, too, in Oakland right now. You played a pretty good, solid first half of that game. It's just finding the offense. I mean, it hasn't been for lack of chances. They were living in that blue side. They were making it their home. The Saints just were able to shut that door time and time again, and then that counterattack strong as ever. Listen, all I'm saying is I also did learn of soccer since anime started, so, you know. <laughs> and I also call it football. <laughs> So we'll see. But we are underway with game three. St. Clair wanting to wrap things up here, put Oakland away so they can focus on their homeland tournaments. And just as I say that, well, putting Oakland on the board early, finally we get to see it. Yeah, first time here. The Saints have a 2 nothing lead. We're going to get a close series and we're going to get a close game probably. It is the law of the land. It is how things go around here. Oakland going to at least put some excitement into this game three. Nice and early. Saints going to be playing from behind for the first time today. Uh, well, they did lose to Davenport. This, so they, series, this uh, series, this series, not today. This series, yeah, this yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Well, point being in that, I do know what you mean because St. Clair has. That is such a good flip into the ball, Jay Wiz. Still showing those flashes of brilliance from Nazaro CS days from time to time now. St. Clair still dominating, however. Quint, a uh, bit of an awkward landing on the roof. That's why he wasn't able to get a good one. But okay, wow. nearly a redirect. Raman looking to put it on again. Spoots just barely whizzing by the ball. Still dangerous for Oakland, but they finally get it out of their zone. And nearly scoring for themselves. Yeah, a little dangerous for the Saints, too. They sent three members on that attacking rush to really try to find this goal back. So when you send three players to go find a shot, you know you're feeling confident. You're not that worried about the defense. You're feeling good about the series, Quint. Going to get that one intercepted at the goal line by Jay Wiz. Tries to break it out the other way. The mid-air demo. I'm not even sure if Quint meant to find that one, but Raz is going down one way or the other. Well, now going to play this one back from the corner. Going to take this one to this blue side. He's got the air carry, looking to find some space, looking for any teammate for the follow. Not going to be able to find it just there, though. Not at the moment, but still Oakland. That's a great shot. Required Spooz to have to dive for it just to have a chance. Another oh. one. These shots, the accuracy is getting better and better from Oakland. And as they continue to put St. Clair under that pressure, it forces them to have to readjust in terms of how they're going to conduct these counterattacks. Because if they're playing with that much accuracy, you can't just overcommit like that. You're going to have to delete the players out of play. Yeah, and the longer this series go, I mean, both of these teams, there is no, you know, they're very familiar with each other. There is no surprises here. Quint trying to go solo bolo there down the middle. Can't find the goal, but now Spood's going to be there. Little fake reset is going to get taken away, though. That ball is going to go back to the Saints zone. Quint there to play that one out. Shouldn't be able to find that follow. That's going to be the side of Oakland trying to take this one out well. Trying to win that 50 against Robin won't be able to do so. Spoods dumping this one deep into the orange zone. Oakland still trying to cycle, trying to see if they can find an angle with this counterattack. Still sitting with that one nothing lead. At the moment, though, Oakland maybe having another chance. Finally, the accuracy lets up. Wales going to put another one on the backboard. Double commit, but the comms come through. Jaywez going to put it high. Spoods. I'm going to be careful. Uh -oh. You have to be careful. Those touches can be some of the most dangerous, but Quint was repair or prepared. Raman. 
Gonna go over to Raz, who will try a shot, but will be whipped. Raman taking full possession. He might get something here if Smooth rotates, but he's gonna collect that mid boost. Smart, take yeah. control of that midfield before you attempt anything. Yeah, Raman, another dangerous pass to the middle there. So the, the Cardinal Sin have never passed it across the middle. Apparently not existing in the Saints book today. They have done that several times. Luckily, has gone unpunished for them now. Trying to still develop some pressure, develop a couple scoring chances here. They have lots of time to play with still, but the way Oakland has played with this pressure and the ball control style they've been playing, gonna be very, very hard to crack this defense. A couple demos back and forth, but ball still in the Saints zone. Raman and Spoots have been all over the net with the Saints this game. That's the thing, it's, it just feels as though when it comes to the defense, it's holding together simply because of Raman and Smoots. It's been good. Quint has also been in position. However, Oakland at this point, they're just playing keep away until they can find an opportunity to really kind of go in and get some demos for themselves. Jay is going to be able to knock two at the other side. Now, minute remaining. Another possession at giveaway. Quint looking for the shot. Raman will be there. Spoods with the rebound. Finally tying up this game. Yeah, nice little tic-tac-toe. I thought Quint might have had a decent little shot there, but it was all about the passing plays, the selflessness from these three. Pass, pass, pass. All three members getting a touch on the ball. They're the hockey assist, if you will. But it is a 1-1 one -one scoreline. Oakland, you played pretty dominant these first four minutes. Can you muster up enough strength for this last minute to try to close out this game? three and keep your run alive. Ooh. Oh, Robin almost splitting the sticks there on that one. Yeah, still you don't want to have it that close, especially with the minute remaining because anything can happen. Now, Robin will send it downfield. Jay Wiz there for a while trying to get that defensive touch. Spoots looking for more demos and I feel like he's been struggling a lot more with those lately, especially in this series. We'll see how effective they can be if we go to an overtime or we even within the last 30 seconds. St. Clair, look to finish this off. I was going to say, I put nothing past either one of these squads about trying to finish up this game before what a, OT. What a oh, a missile from Roz. It's not going to find the mark, though. The Saints, once again, the story of this game has been shutting the door when the door was wide open. Flies were getting in. The wind was blowing. Either way, though, they keep that door shut. They keep this game knotted up, and they might find themselves with one last chance here. Oh. They say screw overtime, but however, Oakland is going to find the interception. They're going to send this one all the way down the court. Jay Wiz trying to see if they can find any last good touch there. The give and go uh -oh. is actually really, really good, but there's no one there to follow, and why not one more time? Over time, we go. All right, now let's see how the kickoff goes. We get into game three overtime. Not the best touch. Ramen over to Quince. A little too wide for him. Jay Wiz will peep it in that midfield. Spoods taking possession. Oakland going all the way, wanting to go all the way. This is grand finals, remember, of CCA Open. Tons on the line, including points and prize money. Let's see if they can do it. Or St. Clair going to wrap things up, nearly having a chance there. Yeah, the Saints are playing super aggressive once again. All three of these members, look how far up they're cheating. They send two to the corner to try to dig that one out. And they send that third member to wrap around near that midfield, try to see if they can find any shot, try to walk up and find any nice angle. But you have to worry about that counterattack in Oakland. We know how strong this aggression can be and how much success it can develop in the same wake. Now we're gonna see Quint trying to play this one back down. So far though, both these teams just super, super back and forth. Maybe oh, a misplay no, and Oakland's Jay got a window. Oh, oh the second the touch. Save. Oh, the third touch. Ah! Oh, the door is closed. The Saints keep going. Still finding a way. The communication between the players, fantastic. Spoods not over committing on the defensive touches. Maybe getting another one here. Roz, it'll go off the side wall. I think Oakland, they're starting to get trapped. They're running out of boost. They don't have too many resources left to work with, nor real estate. So St. Clair, they're prepared. They're waiting for Oakland to make that mistake so they can finally pounce. Yeah, overtime is all about punishing the most microscopic, minute mistake because you only need one goal and every goal is counted the same. It doesn't matter how it looks or how you get it done. Now we're gonna see Raj trying to take to that backside net, trying to get something going over the middle. Not gonna be able to find anything though. This ball careening back toward that middle area. Well, he's gonna take to the wall here. He's gonna take to the skies, try to find anything. But Spoods has been a defensive stalwart all this game. Shuts down the air dribble. A little bit of a misplay possibly. Quint waiting oh, in the wings, pass. the passing oh. play. Just couldn't get enough of it. Okay, now 2v1. Jay Wiz is gonna have to rotate all the way back. Roz, he's gonna have to keep some time open for Jay Wiz and company to get back. That is a great wow. pinch. Quint, does he realize it though? Roz will take control. 
Ramen. Spoods taking that mid boost can be so important, but it might not matter. Quint does get the good 50 and he gets around Whale. So uh -oh. Quint needs to get the demo on Roz or at least prevent a dunk, but he does not. Good save by Oakland. Yeah, a slight double commit by the Saints there. Quint and Ramen both maybe trying to go for that shot, not really getting that timing right. Spoods still trying to bury this one and this overtime we are two minutes 45 seconds through oakland nice little flip there a second flip as well luckily though for the saints spoots once again the man of the hour to make that save uh, yeah. trying to take the skies now from the Saints. Well, 50. trying to find the goal does lose the 50 now oakland trying to get back going the other way yeah we see st Clair. they're trying to reset right now and collect their boosts and collect everything they can for this last push but it doesn't matter jay whiz mott doing it for Oakland to force that game four. I mean, Oakland's such a strong team. They were bound to take one of these games at some point. I mean, we talked about, I think it's three or four overtime games now. So a lot of these games, they're coming down to one or two key plays from one of these members. And now the Saints, you're gonna have a bit of a dog fight with you. Now you got a 2-1 lead, not gonna be as safe as that coveted 2-0, but you're gonna have to get back to the pitch in a few here. And if you're Oakland, you're hoping it doesn't take a three minute overtime, but you are happy with the win nonetheless. Yeah, you can see Saints trying to discuss the game plan. I know that Spoods is definitely one of the better communicators on the team to make sure that they can find what is wrong and eventually find a solution to it. So we will see that in effect here as we will be loading up game four in this best of five series. Remember that if we do go to a game five and Oakland wins it, we will have a bracket reset for the CCA Open Grand Final here at No Man's Land. Yeah, now we're gonna see game four, like you said, getting underway here, just getting things off the kickoff. Oakland trying to go back to their offensive ways here. Saints gonna chip that one back down the other way. Jay Wiz trying to get something set up with Whale here, trying to catch some kind of timing, but not really anything to play off there. Quint, he's gonna take that one out himself, tries to get the breakout. Now it's gonna be Spoots to follow that one up though. Whale gonna be there to answer the call though, gonna send that one into the neutral zone just a little That's bit. That right. ball, that goes right back, spearing into the net. Robin gonna be good for one there and a nice early one goal lead for the yeah. Saints. No smiles across the board. It's all business for Robin and St. Clair. They wanna end it. They don't want any chance for Oakland to get back into it. Of course, Oakland getting their first win against St. Clair since the day it started on stream. But they want it to be end here. I'm sure they very much want that lovely break before bracket starts. I was going to say, yeah, especially after playing four or five games of overtime. I know these players, everybody here has had a very long day. But you got to find those breaks in between. And right now, Oakland, you got to try to find some breaks in this Saints offense. You got to find some way to stop it from flowing even further. Quint trying to take this one deep into the corner. Nice demo by Ross to shut down that chance. Yeah. And now, we see Whale already down in the offensive zone. They're gonna challenge. They're not gonna be able to find that goal. Saints going swarming for the ball. Quint, first one there, trying to take this one out of here. It's crazy because I, I you know, and I remember Spoods is mentioning this. It's like the, the defensive rotation can sometimes be caught in an awkward spot yeah. where they're trying to rotate over each other. Therefore, they're not cut, like catching themselves on back post. They're not trying to position to themselves towards back post on that ball, which means you have some players rotating in, but then some players who are already kind of in this weird defensive position and uh -oh. everyone is just behind and that one outruns the defensive rotation of St. Clair. So now we once again, have a tie game. Yeah, speaking of behind, Quint getting a little bit aggressive on that play. The ball does slip behind the defense there. Oakland, they're gonna slip in that goal. They're gonna tie up this thing at once. And they know the Saints were gonna be in for a dogfight. Even that two nothing lead was a little bit deceiving. We know how good Oakland is. Again, one of those teams we see over and over and over in CC. I mean, the name said episode 25, the last dance. Not sure if they've played 25 CCAs, but I'll tell you what, this team looks like they've been together. Jay was great little stop there. Trying to see if they can materialize anything on the backside of that. Whale does get a good touch though. However, Roz does. Still, St. Clair on the back foot, trying to prioritize their boost management at the moment so that they have time to get out of their zone. But you can see Oakland, they're playing patient against these defenders. A flick goes through for Roz, putting them up ahead. Jay Wiz with a little chuckle. <laughs> chuckle. 
Listen, when you come back and now it's 2-1 in game four, they have a lot more reason to smile. The first two games, there wasn't really a whole lot going in Oakland's way, but now momentum firmly on their side. I mean, even if they push this to a game five, it's not the bracket reset grand, grand final game five, but the Saints are going to know, hey, we're one game away from that reset happening with Oakland, especially completing the reverse sweep as well. Definitely something to keep in mind as this game progresses. Yeah, for sure. And Jay was. Staying control, Oakland just need to relax. They still have half a game left to play, but I don't think they need to make any really risky decisions at the moment that could cost them any goals. But still, they want to go on the attack. They want to keep enforcing that lead. JWiz going to go high, going to put it down low, and no one is there for the show. So JWiz will give Oakland that 3-1 lead. Yeah, just a beautiful job. The Saints, like you mentioned too, trying to scramble on these rotations, not necessarily knowing exactly what the timing is going to be with these teammates swinging around. And all of a sudden, Oakland, one of these teams, they will capitalize on those mistakes. And the more time you spend on that defense, they will cook the offense. But Spoon said, I got something for you, Oakland. I'm going to bring this back to within one. Yeah, St. Clair not done yet. Still just under half a game left to play. And there's plenty of time left to do whatever they need to to get this game going. So we will continue on in the second half of this game four. Remember, once again, Oakland looking to push that game five. And with it, the bracket reset. St. Clair just need this to win and eventually take that CC open tight or CCA, excuse me, open title. Now, still, Quint take a possession, Spoods. Pitching it down a field. Oakland doing a great job at managing that mid. Oh gosh, okay, sorry. The midfield boost management at the moment. It's been all pressure from the Oakland side. It still might oh, be Quint. dangerous. Quint's looking for something and Spoods getting the uh, boost skills. The yeah, boost deal, excuse me. So they can have some extended pressure, but they're still gonna fight in that midfield. Yeah, Oakland still clinging to this one goal lead. And once again, now Oakland, the clock is finally your friend. Now you're gonna try to play this stall game. Maybe you try to find a couple chances, keep the Saints honest on that defensive end. Let them know, hey, you're not gonna counter attack and send three at us on the offense. We're gonna have something for that. Maybe they're gonna try to find this fourth goal to that quote unquote insurance policy. Although two goal lead in Rocket League with one minute, definitely still not safe by any margin. But the way Oakland has played gives me a lot of hope that this game looking more and more in their favor. There's a demo from Raman though. The Saints trying to find the answer. The flick shot, the crossbar to deny things. Going for the double touch, ah. can't find the dunk. Raman and Quint can't find the mark. Spoons tries oh it, gosh. Quint tries it. I'm running out of names to say. And the Saints are running out of options now, but they are gonna tie the game up. Oakland, 57 seconds. Overtime, why not? I would love to count, but I want to say that was like five or six touches off the backboard yeah. before it finally landed through. And normally a lot of teams would just let that by the wayside. They're like, okay, let's just try again in like 10 seconds or something like that when we get possession again. But nope, they kept cutting, Whoa. they kept going, and they continued until no Oakland way. broke. And no, that's not good. Oh, well, I was going to say it. It looked a little bit close, slow close. to me, it was, yeah. It was a little close, yeah. yeah. But still, plenty of time left, and Jay uh, Quint, chill. Bro, <laughs> okay, Listen. just go for the clear. But this one might actually, but no, Jay Wiz will get the save. Still, St. Clair in position, poised, ready to go for another shot if they can get it. Spoods looking to challenge. Quint taking control, getting it maybe over one. Spoods not getting that demo that they wanted. So it will be a battle in the midfield. We might have overtime. It all depends on who gets this next possession. Quint with a great 50, going all the way, going for the pinch to a teammate. Jay Wiz, great read on it. Whale having to rotate back. Rod's gonna take it. Who's oh. gonna take it? We have an overtime. Once again, overtime is the name of the game. Hey, I told you, if you're new to this, we're gonna have a lot of overtimes. We're probably gonna end up seeing that game five. The Saints would love nothing more than to avoid that game five right now. You don't wanna lose back-to-back -back overtimes, setting up a potential reverse sweep situation. You wanna get ahead of that one right now. Try to find this goal, end things off. Call yourself CCA Open number four champions. But they still have a lot of work to do. They have a very tough Oakland squad to crack and Spoods. Gonna get cracked by Whale there on the goal line to follow. Just can't quite careful get a shot to go. Guys. Yeah, Quint has to be careful here. Robin gonna go for the clear now. Nice little fake out, at least gonna buy the Saints a few seconds. At the moment, yes, but it's mainly the boost seal that will be huge. And finally, St. Clair wins CCA Open number four. They are your 
champions. How sweet it feels. The first ever GCA champions to play on land against the opposing grand finalists. They put together a beautiful day of CCA. We've seen too many bracket reset heartbreaks. You know that has to feel so, so good for this group. They quite literally, like you mentioned the Bills earlier, but it is kind of true in a sense. It felt like they always got to the Super Bowl. They would always run into some juggernaut, some Titan, some either an XCRL team or one of these teams that is top of the top. They finally break through for another CCA Open. Oakland put together a hell of a series going back to both series, but the Saints, we won. Yes. It's really cool to see, especially Canada on top. You love to see it. By the way, Blue Lock is still mid quits. So I'm very happy to see this. This is cool because they, they have consistently made it far and far again. Uh, always the bridesmaid, never the bride consistently. And now that they've gone against Oakland, they basically really only lost one game against them. However, it's not done yet because we still have a LAN left to play. Do we? We're yeah, do, do we? Oh. Do we? Oh. Do we? Oh, yeah, we can't. The, oh, we uh, can't. It says uh, no man's land 15. It's, yeah, we got the logo and everything here. Oh, man. Oh, see, that would have been a great joke. Anyway, point being, we have a LAN left to play. Actual LAN for actual prizes, and we are very much underway. Oh, we're going we're gonna to show the camera angle? Live. Whoa! Oh, look at that. Look at let's that. go. Look at that. that. Feel like a pro, man. There you uh, go. But Beautiful. we still have a lot of incredible matches ahead of us. We're going to take a short break. Production is just going to take a short break so we can all eat, we can all relax, we can, uh, we can rest our voice a little bit. And then we have the bracket stage. It's going to be an incredible matchup. You're not going to want to miss it. This is the Saints Gaming Channel for No Man's Land. We'll be right back. <laughs> 